Hi hey guys and welcome to the first part of another tutorial series and in this tutorial series we're going to be making uh, R2-D2 from Star Wars so uh, this is a reference model that I found on Google Images and one of a few that we're going to be working from um, you can see I've also got this front reference image here um, so I've just gone on onto Google Images and collected um, as many reference images as I can showing R2-D2 in various positions um, so that we can um, see how we're going to animate it, maybe poses that um, are, are common. Um, and then I've also managed to grab as well some actual blueprints of R2-D2 himself. So there's a, a front and a, a couple of others which is a, a side and also a front view as well. Um, I'm going to go with this pencil drawn one because it has a bit more detail to it um, some of these panels and things which are missing from the other so um, we're going to go over into Blender and we're going to need to set up these reference images uh, first of all we're going to delete the default object and um, I'm going to go to a front view I'm going to open up um, our options properties over here and in our scene um, properties here you see there's a background images option so we're going to check background images and we'll go to add image and we're going to have this in the front view we'll go to open then we'll come over to where we stored our reference images here r2d2 and the reference image we're going to go with for the front is going to be this one here, R2-D2 front. So I'm going to load this up. And you'll see now that is displayed here. Um, now I'm going to drag out a new display. So I'm just going to hide this. We'll drag out a new display here. Get rid of that. And this is going to be a side view. So I'm going to go to the say um, left view again I'm going to want to show my properties and I'm going to add a new image this will be for the left view and I'm going to go with R2D2 side so there's our front and side images now. Now we're going to need to um, set those up so that they are um, correctly scaled and referenced to each other. So to do that I'm going to grab a cylinder to start with. I'm going to scale this cylinder up. Just zooming in this view. Now we're going to want to scale this cylinder z-axis So we're going to line it up in our front view to start with. Once we have it lined up in the front view, we can make sure that it's also lined up in our right view. Now you can see in our right view here, it's um, not quite lined up. It's like it's a little too large. So in this view, what we're going to need to do on our side view is actually increase the scale a little bit of our side image. So we're going to up the scale until things approximately line up and then we're going to adjust the positioning. So we need to adjust the vertical position. Now you're never going to get these two reference images to exactly line up but we get them as close as we can. So I think that is probably about close enough. So now our two reference images are set up so they are correctly scaled. Um, and we've got our first basic sh shape in here. The other basic shape we're going to need then is going to be the um, dome for the head. So we'll bring in a sphere shape 
and we're going to scale this up. And we're going to want to go over into edit mode. First thing we're going to do is delete half of this sphere. Go over to our front view. We'll hit uh, and get faces. So we'll hit B for box select. And I'm going to select half of the faces there. And X and delete those faces. B again for box select. X to remove those faces. I'll go for edges. Just get rid of these edges down here. Let's make sure we get rid of everything. Okay, now we'll go back over into object mode, move this down, and last thing we'll be scaling it. So we'll line this up. We're going to want to scale a tiny bit. on the z-axis a little bit more and a little bit on the x-axis until it's about the same size as our cylinder so everything should match up a little bit more on the z And I think that's close enough for us. Okay. Now we can just position it here. Probably scale a little bit on the Y axis. Also. And there we go. Okay. Now the final thing is we're going to want some um, clear opacity to this so that um, we'll also choose smooth rendering. Um, yeah, we're going to want some opacity to this so when we're doing the modeling we can see through it. So we'll do that by coming over here with our object selected. We'll go into object mode. We'll turn on transparency. You can also turn on and off whether we're displaying the wireframe or not. Um, we'll leave that in textured and then we'll come over to our textures. We'll create a, I'll select that current material there and turn on transparency and we'll bring the alpha down so that it's transparent. We'll apply that same material there over to the object, turn on transparency. So now, if you choose to shade using the material or just solid, you'll see that now we have our texture on there and um, we have this transparent view so that allows us to see through to the details in our reference image behind so when we're doing our modeling we're going to be able to line things up and you can adjust the amount of transparency by adjusting this alpha here So 
So we'll get it to where we want it. And then if we go into edit mode, you'll see that the uh, transparency actually disappears. And the same down here as well, if you go over into edit mode. So you've got to make sure that you're in material select. So when you go into edit mode, it's still transparent. So we're going to be able to line things up as we go along. Okay, so that's um, it for the actual setup of our reference images. Um, making sure the reference images are aligned. And now, I'm just going to adjust R2D2's head a little bit so it matches my right reference image. Oops. Scale a little bit on the Z again. Okay, so we've got our basic shape set up there for the rest of our modeling of R2-D2. So in the next part of this tutorial series, we're going to begin adding the details that are on the front. Um, some of them we're going to do through bump maps um, and texturing later, um, but we're going to try and model as much of it as we can. So a lot of these panels that you see on the front of R2-D2 are going to be modeled um, but some of the panels are going to be done through texturing and bump maps but as much of these details as we can um, we're going to actually um, model ourselves so thanks for tuning in um, I hope you found this tutorial useful whether you're going to follow on with the rest of the R2-D2 tutorial or if you're just looking at this as to how to set up a reference image in Blender um, hope you find it useful and I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.